Manchester and other cities have a large trans community and our trans brothers and sisters are facing a lot of aggravation, a lot of hatred and a lot of animosity at the moment in our country. What are the Liberal Democrats able to do to support the trans community in our city and around our country? Well, speaking as the president of the party, I've already done a piece on Lib Dem Voice a while ago um, saying we are absolutely clear that trans people in the community have our full support. We are a party that believes in human rights. We absolutely believe that anybody in the LGBTQ spectrum needs our support and to protect them from those. I'm extremely concerned about the virulent attacks that are happening to trans people at the moment. And the Lib Dems are incredibly proud that we are, as far as I know, the first party to have reserved places for LGBT candidates on shortlists. And we are the first party to have said that any trans woman who self-declares is eligible for an all-women shortlist. Yeah. No argument. Now, myself and others have been trolled, not nearly as badly as our trans members, by, by some of the uh, people who absolutely disagree with that. But speaking as the president of the party, this is an issue of rights. Absolutely. We will protect rights. Giving rights to trans women does not undermine the rights of women uh, who have been born as women. And we are very, very clear that we will continue to do that. I've been working closely with the chair of PLUS and with Liz Barker, who speaks on trans issues for us in the House of Lords. In fact, we were talking just today about this very issue. And we will be doing more work on social media to set out what the party's position is. The party's position is clear. We just need to make sure it gets out there more clearly. I do not believe we should expect our trans members to be the only people fighting some of this transphobia that we're seeing at the moment. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that, Sam.